Si dva jedna start. Maybe you didn't know that, but MTBO 5 days are happening every year in the Czech Republic. One year it's usually somewhere in Bohemia and the next year it's somewhere in Moravia. So the terrains are different every year. I think it's the perfect occasion for meeting with everyone and chat and spend time together and spend time with the whole community because many people are coming and many nations are participating like Switzerland, Belgium, Latvia, Slovenia, Slovenia Germany, France, France Austria, uh -huh. Slovakia, Lithuania, Hungary, Great Britain, <laughs> Italy, Estonia, Estonia, Denmark, Poland, New Zealand. The whole event center is also a campground where everyone lives in their camper vans or tents. There's also a gym where you can sleep on the floor in a sleeping bag. So everyone's at the same place and live here for five days and meet every day. So it's a very nice place where to spend summer. Then in the event center are of course also showers and toilets and bike wash shopping area where you can buy map holders from Autopilot or Miri and some bike clothes from Haven and of course also a large meeting area where you can have a beer and chat with everyone and where also all the parties are happening of course. Every day need is making a big coffee pot <laughs> and invites everyone who goes by for a cup. Starts of the stages are usually in the morning. Every start of every stage is reachable on bike, which is nice. You don't have to use your car at all the whole five days if you don't want to. If you want to, you can go to the start by car, but it's totally not necessary. The longest journey on start is a little bit less than 10 kilometers this year. So it's like a good warm up and spin off before and after the race. Because the starts are in the morning, there's time after every stage to explore the area a bit and enjoy the summer and the trip and the vacations in the Czech Republic. <laughs> Evenings are dedicated to prize giving ceremonies after every stage and then everyone chats and grab a beer. This year as a prize for the best riders every day was given a voucher for a bobsleigh ride. It was the best timing for watching sunset from the track, so everyone enjoyed that very much. In the evening there is usually a party or two. Mm -hmm. 
This year we also saw an orienteering horror movie made by Czech guys in the 80s. Peak of the evening parties are every year beer relays, which means 10 people, 10 beers, the shortest time wins. This year the races were middle distance, must start, sprint, middle distance and pursuit. Usually you can leave the tracks with your bike above the ground in the Czech Republic, but this time it was not allowed and I was pretty happy for that because in Sweden we won't be allowed to leave the tracks and I think it's pretty good idea to train this kind of thinking. The second stage was must start. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your maps. This it. Five, four, three, two, one. Start. Up, 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 up. Shoot, 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 shoot. Ah, uh, here I go, Lisa. We had three fort loops, each on different map which created around 12 different curses. Two, one, start! I had my first map same with Krzysztof Bogar, but I haven't seen anybody since then until the last forking when I find out that I'm in the lead just some 20 seconds in front of Baptiste Fuchs and Martin Kanta. Sadly, I made a huge error on the next control and got overtaken by both of them. On one of the last controls, Baptiste took the best route choice and was heading towards the victory, while me and Martin have started fighting for the silver medal. We are trying not to repeat each other's mistakes and I have to say that Martin was a bit better at it, especially in the last corner when I was riding too much at the edge and fell down. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well done! <laughs> so, Baptiste won the race, Martin was second, I was third, and just some, I don't know, 10 seconds behind me finished Krzysztof Bogar. So, how was it? Warm. <laughs> Warm. <laughs> Today is fourth day of the races and after three hot and sunny days rain came. I started around 10.50 and it started to rain around this time. The forest got wet really quickly and we got wet and the roots got wet and there was mud everywhere. <laughs> so it was quite fun today in the forest. Yeah, and I'm looking forward how the boys will look like when they come. <laughs> Of course, we ran out of water today. Yeah. 
já tady pěním v že jako vůbec se... Z čeho to je? No. Já jsem tam měl plný potoky. Jo. Tu boustí. Já jsem měl docela začátek, tak to bylo docela Jo. Ještě. Mně už to bylo tak jako od toho posledního kopce nahoru. Ten takový ten průďák a pak ten ten, tak tam už prostě byly jenom jenom jaký potůčky na každý cestě, to už bylo vždycky takový a a se to hrozně bavilo, ale Je to bylo dobrý, ale dobrý. We are not only out of water, but also out of gas Yeah, but we have like two extra bombs or how bottles, gas bottles, so it's not such a big issue, but it's just not the best timing when you have to exchange them during the cooking and rain and rain <laughs> the last stage of the races is traditionally a pursuit race. The basic idea is that everyone starts in the intervals as long as their loss to the leader from all four stages combined. So when you are exactly one minute slower than the winner in every stage, in the last stage you start exactly four minutes behind the leader. It means whoever is in the finish first wins. But at this time it was a little bit different. Only three best races were counted and the organizers used some point system to balance the differences between shorter and longer distances. We had cars with 10 controls with extra 11 controls which we could take whenever we wanted. I was starting first some 8 minutes before Christoph and Baptiste and luckily I didn't make any mistakes so I finished first as well. <laughs> the World Championships start in just 9 days so I'm happy that there wasn't any long distance. The terrains, courses, <laughs> even the weather, everything was really nice so I enjoyed these 5 days a lot but I'm really exhausted now. So it's time to, to rest and get ready for the world champs. Next year uh, the five days will be in Pilsen, so everybody's welcome to join, especially when it's about to be a part of final preparations for the world championships in Czech Republic. So see you there. Aye.